Hey guys and welcome to another reaction video. And yeah, I have a couple of things to say before we start, so this is probably gonna take a while. Um, first of all, uh, on Saturdays, as you probably all know, on Saturdays and on Saturdays only, I record in the wrong order or in the opposite order of what I upload. Usually the first video I record is also the one that's getting uploaded, so first the series, then uh, s uh, small fan s stuff uh, or something smaller. Uh, on Saturdays it's the other way around and today that does matter a little bit more uh, because I can tell you if you're watching it in the order as, as it's gonna be uploaded um, like the recent video uh, the upcoming video has again about three seconds at the very beginning no video until it then cuts in uh, that's my editing uh, software uh, my old editing software kind of I don't know what it is ever since the la uh, last update for that software it's doesn't want to work with my video anymore so I have a new one uh, like I said the last one still uh, the upcoming video still has the old one so there are these three seconds missing in this one I I tried and I think it worked pretty well uh, it didn't as far as I remember it didn't cut out. No, it didn't cut out the first three seconds. So that should work pretty well. Uh, the only downside of the new um, of the new editing software uh, is that it only has five uh, video and audio lines, as my first one had as many as I needed, pretty much infinite uh, lines for audio and video, uh, which isn't going to be a problem. Uh, I usually need six of them, uh, but. As I said in the uh, in the upcoming video, I'm gonna say it again. I'm now not recording with Audacity and uh, OBS, which is my program for uh, recording with my camera. I'm now only recording with OBS, which because that also can record with my mic. The previous version of this I recently updated. The previous version uh, could do that as well, but the audio would wouldn't be in sync with the video. This one I believe is. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so I'm saving one line and which cuts it down to five, which uh, is exactly as many as I need, I think. Yeah, is it? Uh, on the downside, on other other videos where I'm recording to uh, reacting to more than one video at the same time, uh, it's still possible, of course. Uh, it will be a little bit of work for me, though. Uh, well, but that's something I'll have to deal with. Uh, just a little bit of work more. Yeah, I already know how to fix this. Like, I can, of course, change the program, but I def uh, pretty much what I have to do is use the five lines, then convert the video, and then the uh, converted video uh, edit again. <laughs> Which, because it, if, yeah, you probably all know what I mean. If you don't, then it doesn't matter any, uh, anyway. So, yeah, new editing program, ed everything should work out just fine now. So, let's cut to the episode. Um,. It is called The Times They Are Changeling. And I'm very excited for this episode because, as you all know, I do not watch previous, but I have seen uh, the trailer for the second half of uh, season six, and there was a part from this in there. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's this episode. And yeah, there was it was one line spoken from Spike and said, he's my friend, pointing at a changeling. So... Spike is going to make a changeling friend. So yeah, again, I've seen one screenshot of this, again, showing Spike and the changeling. And what I'm also doing, I checked the video because I had it a couple of times that my uh, that the video, that something while, uh, while downloading went wrong, especially with long uh, uh, MLP episodes, I had it a couple of times that the video wasn't quite working. So I uh, watch like about a second of the video pretty much pretty far at the end and i've done it with this one as well so and i know that there's gonna be a spike song in there that's uh can i honestly can't remember when we had that one last on one of them uh he had a part in songs a couple of times uh but never a song on his own i think so yeah i'm talking for about five minutes now so <laughs> let's get this started Two, one, click. Yeah, 
Well, the audio is a little bit wonky. Armor and Princess okay, Cadence no, don't think it's too again. soon for me to come back to the Crystal Empire for a visit. But what? I just know Flurry Heart's grown so much already. I wonder if I'll even recognize her. She's I the think. only baby they have, Twilight. I yeah. think it'll be pretty easy to figure out who she is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's she's the very Sorry, small Elecor. I don't want to visit your niece as much as possible, and I'm excited to see Sunburst again. I just don't want to fall behind on my friendship lessons back home. Starlight, your work in Ponyville isn't going anywhere. Besides, I think we all know you can learn about friendship anywhere, right, Spike? Spike? Who's Spike? <laughs> the fuck uh, are you doing? You're Spike, Spike. And why are you dressed like that? Guys, you're blowing my cover! How'd you even know it was me? Because you're you. In a coat, hat, and glasses. Also, we're the only ones here. Right. Spike, why do you need a disguise? The last time we came to the Crystal Empire, there was a lot going on with the new baby and the crystalling, but I still got mobbed in the street. I wouldn't say mobbed. No. <laughs> Family visit. I wouldn't want the presence of Spike the Brave and Glorious to turn it into some kind of circus. I can't Again, blame it. It's pretty much the did. only thing he has. He did save the Empire. Yeah. Twice. But still, I don't think your presence will turn our visit into a circus. No. Not if I find the right disguise, it won't. Really? Hey, he has a rarity doll. I think we've seen that before, right? We have seen him with a rarity doll before. God, how often have I heard this theme song now? Like, must be like around 600 times or so. I calculated it once about how many episodes I've seen, but that was like a year ago. <laughs> It was like already 300 times back then. <laughs> Dude, I'm a nerd. Disguise I'm such a nerd. Not, Spike, I don't think you need to worry about being mobbed. No ponies here. Is it because of the changeling? It's like a ghost town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Quit quoting Star Wars. You had already. It's the trap. The season five premiere. You only get one yeah, Star Wars quote. This is weird. <laughs> you think? I guess I don't need the disguise after all. <laughs> hey, these two ponies at the same cutie mark. They had like a little tower. Yeah, what's going on? And they're gone. Why was every pony hiding? Oh, it sure looks like Princess Twilight and her pupil. But how can we be sure? Yeah, there's a change in your town. Neither one of them could be the you know. Okay, something hmm. strange is definitely going on. Y you think? think? <laughs> ha! Who goes there? Um, you don't recognize the princess of friendship? Of course we recognize her, but that doesn't mean it's really her. <laughs> it's okay, guys. Bear with me. And any friend of Spike the Brave and Glorious is a friend of the Crystal Empire, am I right? Hmm. Huh. It does look like him. Well, it would, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, but we'll need to see some proof of identification. We'll take care of things from here. Oh, Cadence, thank goodness. What's going on? We can explain, Twily, if it really is you. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs ladybug awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. Yeah. We, how long it's has it been okay, since we've seen that one the last time? It's her. Of course it's her. What's all this about? A changeling's been spotted nearby. A changeling? That's not good. No, it's not. After Queen Chrysalis took my place at our wedding and invaded Canterlot with her army of minions, I believe this is the first time her name has actually been mentioned in the show. Could that be? Speed off of love. And ever since Flurry Heart's crystalling, the Empire is filled with more love than anywhere in Equestria. It's possible they've come for the baby. That's why we posted the extra guards, and why we're... Checking every pony's identity. 
I'm sorry for all of this. Flurry Heart's really been looking forward to seeing you. Where are you? <laughs> oh, she's gotten so big. Starlight and I will do whatever we can to help protect her. To be honest, having you here is already a big relief. Hmm. The Royal Guards were wondering if Spike, the Brave and Glorious, would like to join in the search for the Changeling. Really? Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, Spike. It sounds dangerous. Oh, Come on, what's he Twilight, gonna this do? Is Spike, the brave and Put some sticky Have you ever known goo about them? That's everything danger? the Changeling ever did. They never really hurt anyone, they just... Or will put them in a green call thingy. Uh, so, I mean, well, okay, it's, it's not. Spike the Brave and Glorious, you faced evil changelings before. One of these guards is not like the others. One well, of these guards is yellow. So they can change. You hear that? that these racist? monsters can look like any of us, so be on guard, guards. Even more than normal. And they could be anywhere. So, we should cover as much ground as possible. And only one of these guards has. Yeah, red. The other one has got a blue or and red. Search that way. Uh, now you're alone. And I'll just search here, I guess. Yeah. Not many places to hide. Unless that rock is a changeling. <laughs> okay, rock. Can they turn into really inanimate rock? objects? Hmm. Not talking, huh? Well, you can't fool me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you're strong if you can split a rock. I mean, it's also... It already has been partly split, but... Still... Ow... Wow, you're damn lucky. Is that the... Yeah. thing that Sombra fell into? <laughs> That's a change. Okay, maybe it's time Spike the Brave and Glorious went back to, uh... Protect those guards! Ah! <sighs> Just my reflection. Nope. Huh? He's good. <laughs> Spit fire at it. Imagination, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no shit. No wait, come back. I forgot to make a prediction, right? I believe he's here because he doesn't want to live under Chrysalis rule anymore because she sucks. The ice is pretty slippery. I yeah, want you it's to ice. Because of me. You saved me? It's okay. I know you don't want to be friends. Wait! I don't understand. Changelings are supposed to be evil, right? Evil? Oh, well, not me. All I've ever wanted is a friend. From the moment I first split my egg in the nursery hive. Duh. So changelings are naturally rather hostile creatures. Or is it her influence? Was part of the attack on Canterlot during the royal wedding. But I'd never seen true friendship like that. And I couldn't just steal it and feed on its love. I wanted to share it. After that, I knew I couldn't live with my kind anymore. I set off looking for love to share, but... But what? I'm starving, and there's so much love in the Crystal Empire right now. It's what drew me here, but it's driving me crazy. That would be from the Royal Crystal. It's pretty much a giant outpouring of light and love for a new baby. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just so hungry. If I had a friend, maybe the love we shared could sustain me, but I don't think the Crystal Ponies want to be friends. What if I told you there was some pony they respect and admire so much, you could convince them to give it a try? If only that were true. It is! I mean, I am! It's me, Spike! Spike? The Brave and Glorious? I'm sure you've heard of me. How would he nope, have heard of you? I He's living alone queen. for a, like... I'm Thorax. I Thorax. can't believe you want to help me. It's an awesome me. name. What? Thorax. Hasn't any pony ever just been nice to you? <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. Kindness like that kind of brings it out. Do you still want to be my friend? Of course. 
And I am 100% sure I can get the whole Crystal Empire to be your friend, too. Dude. But maybe I should just, uh, talk to them first. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Did you see the changeling? Did you defeat the evil creature? Defeating a changeling would be great. But do you know what would be glorious? Defeating two changelings? <laughs> Defeating all the changelings? No, that... Not that, having to fight the that, changeling at all! Because that, I that would make be friends with him. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. For a second I thought you were serious. <laughs> Could you imagine friends with a changeling? I am serious. You know, changeling are... People too? All right. Not only are you Spike the Brave and Glorious, you're also Spike the Hilarious. I'm not joking. The Changeling is nice. Are you completely sorry, retarded? But I don't think it's funny. The Changeling Queen Chrysalis kidnapped Cadence and cast a spell on me. Yeah, we didn't meet. There's Queen. no such thing as a nice changeling. How do you know? You're right, only met one before. Sorry. Like met that all the things. See more with them really more interactive. So, so with them. Uh, what did they say? How many new friends do I have? Well, it didn't go exactly the way I thought. No, oh, I understand. Well, thanks for trying. I I guess it's not surprising. How can you expect the brony notion will be happy like about this, this episode <laughs> to trust something that looks like this I if you didn't know I the brony know. notion had his uh, OC is a change I Searching for the changeling, Starlight and I could use your help. We're working on a protection spell for Flurry Heart, and no pony takes notes like you. No. Well, uh, he writes them down. It's I, kind uh, of your notes. I wanted to introduce you to my friend, uh, a Crystal uh, Hoof. Hoof. Crystal Hoof. <laughs> my good friend, mm. Crystal Hoof. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. How do you know Spike? Oh, uh, Spike and I go way back. To the Equestria Games! That's when we met. We've been pen pals ever since. Pen pals? Spike, you could have been using my pen pal quill set! What did you tell me? Well, I... I pretty much only write to him when you and Starlight are studying. I like to brag to all my friends about my letters from Spike the Brave and Glorious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're such horrible liars. Well, I'm sure <laughs> Isn't Charlie there one good liar? If you want to spend time with your friend, great. Crystal Hoof promised to take me around the city. This course could have lied. <gasps> that was amazing. I told you. So, what does it look like if a changing feats on love? Did he kind of had a snack or something right now, or? Oh, I hope my my recording isn't too laggy. It looks kind of weird right now. I'm trying to not move as much. I just Isn't said dinner, so. Spike himself. Oh, this place is everything I've ever dreamed of. But I can't keep pretending to be a crystal pony forever, can I? Well, Probably not. You winning them over. Pretty soon, no pony will care that you <laughs> changed me. Spike. Twilight told me you were off with a friend. <laughs> And any friend of Spike the Brave and Glorious is a friend of mine. Duh. <laughs> oh, he's got a snap. Oh, oh she's got a snap. so beautiful. There's so much love around her. Oh, I run, run, bro, run. <laughs> I, I'm so oh, sorry. I can't, can't stop. Get away from the changeling! Wait! No! You don't understand! This changeling replaced your friend to get close to the baby. Don't. What other explanation could there be? I... Tell them. Tell them. I don't know. Tell the... 
After it! Don't let the changeling escape! I hope your friend is okay. Nope, he's not. Not anymore, at least. Yeah. Me too. Didn't see that coming. Didn't think it would Spider. do that. You should go find Crystal Hook while we hunt down the changeling. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to see me. Spread out! The changeling is probably still nearby! Actually, I'm pretty sure he ran as far away from here as possible. Yeah, but probably. I bet I know where! Thorax! Hello? I just want to apologize! I should I don't think he's up. there anymore. Oh, come on, Thorax! I know you're in here! Leave me alone! Why do you think I would help you? I'm an evil changeling. Because you're my friend. I just wish I had been one to you. There was a pretty sudden change of mind there. It's okay. I know it's hard. Everyone in the Crystal Empire loves you. I couldn't ask you to give that up for me. You don't have to ask. What are you gonna do? What I should have done in the first place. I know it's bad that there's a changeling around, but is all this really necessary? If there's one changeling, there may well be a whole army on the way. True, but Starlight has a point. This is getting a little out of hand. I understand, but I don't know what else we can do. I do. Talk to him. Mike, what are you doing? Get away from that thing. No, thing. he's not a thing. His name is Thorax, and he still is friend. awesome, man. <gasps> Song? Knew it. Well, I mean, I kind of really did know before it, like I said. But. Would you say I'm a hero? Glorious and brave. I, I, I guess it's what I they've been saying the entire so episode. You wouldn't believe that sometimes I'm scared and I can make mistakes and I'm not so heroic, it seems. But if day can turn to night and the darkness turn to light. Changeling can change. No two ponies are exactly the same. No two snowflakes ever match their design. And I thought I was At least not in nature. But I was nothing. On the laboratory condition, you can make two exactly identical snowflakes. To be friendly. Day can turn to night and the darkness turn to light. This is a nice song. And why can't we imagine a changeling can change? This is a really nice song. I really Would you like say it. I'm a hero, glorious and brave? If I told you something you wouldn't believe, this changeling. It seems knows the real me. I wonder if changelings and ponies have some sort of uh, like if they share a common ancestor far back, very far back. Because you know, aside from him being a buck, I mean, they're very similar, like uh, four legs and kind of looks like. Probably not. Nah, probably not. I mean, he's, they're hatching from eggs, and ponies are kind of, you know, mammals. They don't share a common ancestor. <laughs> they pretty much probably don't. <laughs> Nicely done, Spike. Spike, I'm so proud of you. You are? Of course. 
You're a celebrity here in the Crystal Empire, and you just risked all of it for a friend. I can't imagine anything more brave than that. As the Princess of Friendship, I try to set an example for all of Equestria. Yeah. But today, it was Spike who taught me that a new friend can come from anywhere. I guess every pony still has things to learn about friendship. Even me. And if Indeed. Spike says Thorax is his friend, then he's my friend He too. never told you his name. He never told you Thank his name. You. On behalf of the Crystal Empire, I would like to extend my hoof in friendship. And I'm sure all of my subjects are eager to do the same. <laughs> yeah. So, how, how is he eating love? Empire, Thorax. He's still I'm kind of starving. Get to know you. Maybe we can change that now. That'd be so amazing! I want to know all about friendship, and maybe one day I can take that knowledge back to the Changeling Kingdom. If my kind learn how to create love for one another, maybe they wouldn't have to take it from others. To spike the brave and glorious! Yeah. Are all guards in the Crystal Empire Pegasus? Looks like you were right after all. Right about what? Friendship lessons can happen anywhere. Indeed. Okay, yeah, this was a really nice episode. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one, like I said, for quite some time, and I must say I'm not disappointed at all. Um, the only thing I could be a little bit nitpicky about is about the whole uh, Spike sort of betraying Thorax and then coming back to him. Not because it's a bad scene or anything, uh, not because I would necessarily say it's out of completely out of Spike's character, uh, maybe he just... Get scared or something. Uh, but it happened so fast that it almost felt a little bit like it was only there to squeeze in five extra minutes into the episode because it was too short or something. Uh, the episode uh, is pretty much perfectly 22 minutes. So maybe something like that happened. Maybe he, he was writing and noticed pff, I'm kind of like three minutes short. Uh, just write a little bit something in there. Well, okay, three minutes probably though. It took a little bit longer than that, I think. But. Again, uh, that was that is something I could nit kind of be nitpicky about and could complain about, but I, uh, even that wasn't bad by any means. I, like I said, I wasn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's completely out of Spike's character. It would have been if he wouldn't have returned could, totally. Then I thought it was kind of weird, but he noticed his mistake pretty immediately and tried to fix it. So I think it's not too bad. Uh, the scene was kind of executed in a good way. The chicken, of course, he would be upset, uh, but you forgive him also pretty quickly again. It happened very fast. Well, on the other hand, the alternative would have been Spike dying. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, that was something, but like I said, it's only like five minutes and it's not all that bad. So, pretty much a really good episode. I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, not. Not within my top five of favorite episodes ever, I don't think, but it, depending on how the rest of season six goes, it could be it's pretty much up there, I think. It's, I really like it. I really, really like it. Not, not quite a, uh, what's the episode called? Um, a heart swabbing tail. <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty good too. <laughs> not quite a Flutter Brother, maybe. I think I like Father Brother a little bit more. I actually think this is a really, really good episode. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm kind of hoping that this isn't gonna turn out like 28 pranks later and one half of the fan will absolutely hate it, the other half will absolutely love it. Like I said, I think it's pretty good. I, I definitely enjoyed it. 
Yeah, no, I, I don't think it's quite as good as Blood and Brother. <laughs> Still would put that one higher on the list, but I liked it. I definitely did. Uh, so... I can't have any big things to complain about this episode either. Like, I mean, it, 28 pranks later at least. At least the first couple of seconds before the uh, opening cre or before the opening theme, I definitely see why people would complain there. But I don't see a lot of critique points in this one. Maybe I will after a couple of reviews and a couple of reactions and a couple of other opinions. But right now, I think this pretty so this uh, this pretty so this <laughs> this pretty so this pretty <laughs> this episode is pretty pretty good. So yeah. And with that said, I think I'm gonna leave it right here. Uh, hope you guys like this little commentary, and I'll see you next time.